Mastering Summaries and Paraphrases. Elevate your writing skills. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to dive into a highly useful skill that can elevate your academic and professional writing to the next level. We are talking about incorporating summaries and paraphrases into your writing. Now, you might be thinking, why is this so important? Well, the ability to accurately summarize and paraphrase is a powerful tool, allowing you to present others' ideas in your own voice, all while keeping the original meaning intact. Before we start incorporating, let's take a quick refresher on what summarizing and paraphrasing are. Summarizing is the process of condensing the main points of a piece of writing into a brief overview. Paraphrasing, on the other hand, involves restating a passage from an original source in your own words. Both techniques help to maintain academic integrity and enable you to weave others' research seamlessly into your own work. But remember, even when summarizing and paraphrasing, it is crucial to cite your sources properly. Summaries can be integrated into your writing in a variety of ways. Here are some strategies. 1. Direct introduction. Directly introduce a summary of someone else's work. For instance, Smith, 2020, summarized that climate change has severe impacts on global agriculture. 2. Indirect introduction. This involves leading into a summary with your own thoughts or analysis. For example, considering the environmental changes, it is unsurprising that Smith, 2020, concluded that climate change has severe impacts on global agriculture. 3. Comparative statement. Use a summary to compare or contrast with another's work. For example, unlike Smith's, 2020, findings, Johnson, 2021, found that technology can mitigate the impacts of climate change on agriculture. Paraphrasing is a bit more nuanced, but just as powerful. Here are ways to incorporate paraphrases. 1. Direct introduction. Much like summaries, paraphrases can be directly introduced. For example, Smith, 2020, argued in his own terms that the global agricultural scene is severely compromised by climate change. 2. Blending with your own words. One effective technique is blending the paraphrased material with your own words or analysis, maintaining a smooth flow of ideas. For example, the vulnerability of global agriculture to climate change, as discussed by Smith, 2020, raises serious questions about food security. 3. Supporting or challenging a point. Use a paraphrase to support or challenge a point you are making. For example, Despite the common belief that technology can offset these changes, Smith's 2020 research suggests that the situation is more complex and alarming. And that's it for today's lesson. We hope that by incorporating summaries and paraphrases into your writing, your academic and professional work will become more nuanced, rich, and engaging. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't shy away from experimenting with these techniques. See you in the next video where we will explore more exciting language functions.